What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Claire Roos. And this is 24-7, an adaptation of an episode from the um, Sandman. This is the one that my friend did. Yes, this yeah. is the one your friend did a fan film of, uh-huh. but this is the mm-hmm. real one. And I don't, us- don't want to spoil anything, but I will say at the top of this, before we get into the episode, this episode might have content that may not be suitable for all viewers. Yes. Yes. If I if this is anything similar to what I saw yeah. um, my friends do, uh, yes, this is your warning. So if you're down for that, join us for this insanity. If you're not, I totally understand. Um, I don't know how far they went with the Netflix adaptation, but th- this one might be a lot. So Here's the thing. We've already seen people being splattered on the inside of elevators. I, I, you know, I, I don't think that they're planning on holding back. I, yeah, it, it, it is a, it's the difference between straight up just gore yeah. and psychological horror. Yes. That, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how far they go. We shall. That's the tease for this episode. <laughs> Boss. Boss. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. What do you think Dream Dream's about? I think we're about to find out. <laughs> Pajamas do look really comfy. I kind of want a pair. Unless Dream doesn't dream. I'm going to cosplay this. Perfect. <laughs> Go to cosplay. Roll up in slippers. I'll be right with you. Looking at traffic, 95 is backed up for a few miles. They are very happy about that it's semi-truck accident. Yeah, the tone was weird. This is my kind of establishment. Give me a black coffee, two pancakes, and some scrambled eggs. I'm a happy boy. <laughs> and bacon, obviously. Obviously. Thanks, buddy. He would take a five-seater booth to himself. Best seat in the house. But we won't be waiting for long. Well, then I better hurry up and get you that coffee. She's great at her job. <laughs> yeah, that is that is an actress who's worked as a waitress before. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I want them to break into the opening number from Waitress the Musical. Coffee, Lindy? Oh, I better open not. Open it up. day would you mind uh, watching the front door while I'm in the ladies' room? Mm-hmm. Now that much, I can handle. She about to go take a pregnancy test? Is this Waitress the musical? I'll be right back to take your order. No rush. I have everything I need for now. It would have been really fun if they could have got Carrie Russell for this part. As like a little <laughs> nod. Yeah. I love that movie. Girl, close the door when you're in the bathroom. That's weird. It's a cool shot, but like... I don't that I think that was the door to the restroom and she went into a stall and then the bat the, uh, the mirror is not at a stall. How are you, Marsh? You good? Yeah. Oh, she put on lipstick for him and he's not paying attention. Didn't even look. Marsh, get it together. I'm gonna pee. If Donna comes, will you tell her I'm here? Will you tell her to wait? How long do you think you're gonna be peeing for? She's not peeing. She's taking a pregnancy. <laughs> Oh no, it is a single. Yeah, and the door was open. That's no. super weird. You're right, you're right. Oh my god, she's got a fold phone. I should at least pretend to be a grown up and call her myself. I like pretending to be a grown up too. Yeah. At some point, I should probably be a grown up. I don't know why Judy's wasting her time on Donna Cavanaugh. Judy's so pretty, she could have any man in town. Probably because she's a lesbian. <laughs> We're on a lot of mushrooms. I'll make a note. <laughs> he doesn't have the charisma, but he's got the face shape. Like, he's got he's the a good looking for dude. it. <laughs> They're gonna love you. She's so She's sweet. She's great. I... <laughs> Judy, coffee's ready. <laughs> She's sweet, but she's a meddler. Mm. I'm Mark, by the way. And I'm gay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And here we all are, five years Aww. later. <laughs> the five best years of my life. <laughs> uh, hmm. You think it's sweet. It is sweet. It is. Stop being cynical. Hold her up. Oof. Look at that burger. <laughs> oh. oh, it's got two of everything. Two patties, two layers of bacon, cheese, two fried eggs. We could pause. Uh-huh. Go get food and then come back. <laughs> if that's what you want. This is you and I every time we go out to eat. We're what? like, let's be healthy. And I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna. I'll have the milkshake and the burger and the... 
I have the salad. I admire your discipline. Must be some salad. I've never had a good diner salad. I actually did have one at Johnny Rockets. They're from Vanguard? That's the CEO. You want me to introduce you? Yeah, don't do that. Nope. No. No. Thank you, but at my level, it's probably best to stay off the CEO's radar. Yes. Yes. Good call. Don't interrupt she, their anniversary dinner. Nothing she, will piss them off more than having someone cloying at their... And she's going to do it anyways. Yeah. The level of restraint in this episode so far, in, in building the tension... I know, I'm so uncomfortable. Well done. You don't really think I'm handsome, do you? No, of course I don't. I like this version of you much better, don't you? Isn't it a relief to tell the truth for once? It starts with us, Ben. You and I, we're going to change the world. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm like, it's hot in here, so I'm going to be sweating, but I'm going to be sweating this episode. Yeah. This episode is a sweaty one. I was trying to be supportive. You're calling me fat? But he didn't order that. You didn't, did you? Just eat what I want for once, please. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that. Yep. Good fries. Mm-hmm. And slapped in the mouth with salt. I love that she's like a health conscious, like, no, you can't have that burger. But I don't want to know how much dressing is on that diner salad. It's like getting a salad from Wendy's. <laughs> This is incredible. Mm -hmm. Hope she's been in a fucking car accident. At least that would explain why. Oh my god! Bet says you have an interview with us today. Yeah. Don't go. We can do it here. Hmm. This is a nightmare. <laughs> you think? Bet speaks very highly of you. Bet poured her, him a coffee one time. Yeah. In the words of Admiral Akbar, it's a trap. Yeah. But Bernard likes you. He actually talks when you come over. He doesn't talk when it's just me. Mm, bet. And after dinner, he'll go up to his room and you could come to mine. I see. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm not interested in you either. <laughs> And then why do you keep coming over? And then after dinner, when you fall asleep in front of the TV, I like to go upstairs to your son's room. But I like fucking him. What? Sometimes I let him fuck me. He's 21, Ben. And he knows what he's doing. That? <laughs> Hey. At least he's 21. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so this episode is incredible. They've staged this out so brilliantly. When I met Gary, he was selling gym memberships. Now he's a VP at Vanguard. Hmm. It's cool that you guys work together. I would never work with my wife. Some men love taking orders from women. <laughs> Spicy. There's tools for that. Is it Marsh? Uh, yeah, kind yeah. of. You gonna be okay in there with Marsh? She'll be fine. Her son isn't there. Uh. <laughs> Fuck, Marsh. Your son did. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm the worst. He used to be really attractive. He'll fuck anything except me, which is fine, because he's not very good at it. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Sometimes you just need to get your dick sucked, you know? Okay. 
Okay. It's getting hot in here. So hot. Take off your clothes from the waist down so that your wife can't see. And how beautiful and... It's about to get really, really hot in here. Yeah. Uh, usually, videos like this are posted on a different kind of streaming site. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good boy. <laughs> I guess they didn't see him over there. I think they were uh, a little too focused on other things. They said everyone's gone. Never figured out how to do that. What? Like, just unzip and like have someone sit on you because your zipper just is like on the. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's not comfy. You need to pull the pants down a little bit more, and then it's awkward because they're on your waist or your your like upper thighs. Yeah, you, so you can't like open your legs at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. She's like, I gotta cool it off in here. What? Ice cream. Yes. I want ice cream. Of course. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I had a light snack before watching this, and now I'm so... <laughs> this episode has made me... Those burgers look so good. What a shot. <laughs> it's definitely the cheapest episode of this show so far. Yes. Yes. The no only effect CGI is the like glowy eye. Yeah. You think you're man enough for a... You <laughs> The casual look. Ambulance. I don't know what an ambulance is gonna do at that yeah. point. I don't think it is you. I think it's him. Hmm. All I did was take away the lies. I offered you a world where you could be yourselves without having to suffer for it, but it seems you enjoy your suffering. Oh, that's a good line. And the lies we've told ourselves. Why? Ooh. God, her arms. How is this a better world? You're still seeing it with your eyes. You need to close them. Embrace the darkness. Oh. Oh. oh! Tell me my future. Okay, here we go. What is it you think you're doing? Saving the world from its lies. Oh, you're the Sandman. Uh -huh. If you would rob a dream lord of his power, you shall do so in his realm. Let's go! Jeez. Is that the Burgess Manor from- That's what I'm thinking. Interesting choice of location. Yeah. I mean, they had the set. They have all the taxidermy animals. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be his mom. Yep. A very back to the future. Welcome home, Johnny. Go to sleep, Johnny. Please. Your father was right. <gasps> it's a dream! Morpheus is not messing around. Nope. Ooh. God, the number of contractors you're gonna need. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Yeah. Or if she's gonna spend a lot in hotels. You must stop. <laughs> wow. It is not too late to save yourself. Well, it's time they woke up! <laughs> All lies end now. I did it. I killed him. Well, this has been a fun show. Thanks for watching The Sandman. <laughs> I won. Thank you, John. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> wow. I killed you. Are you going to kill me? I will not kill you. Sleep well, John. Hmm. That visual was so well done. It yeah. looked so good. Yeah. This episode has been so well shot. Yeah. And it like it hasn't had that same scale of fantastical realms except here at the end, yeah. but it still has that care to detail. Well, and what I love about the show is that they're showing that the same man can exist in all of it. Yes. Right? Tomorrow, the rebuilding will begin. In this realm and in mine. Damn. Damn! I'm watching you. Big brother. So it's either de death or dream, death, and... They said the other one. You can mm -hmm. tell me. There's more. Oh, there's the bunch. No, it's dream, destiny, death, desire, destruction, despair, and delirium. But that's definitely, it's definitely not destiny or death. No? No. Okay. I'm not going to say anymore. Uh, wow. What an incredible stage play turned into television episode. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was really, it, it reminded me almost of like the, um, the original 12 Angry Men movie. Which is this incredible, the, the original 12 Angry Men is like a film adaptation of the stage play. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of almost shot like the stage play. Mm -hmm. And it just is, it's so, it's so good. Mm -hmm. And this just felt like one of those things where like, we don't have special effects. We don't have a lot of locations. Yeah. We are just going to have these actors in this room acting and we're going to show it to you and you're going to love it. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. really com like a commendable job to every single, like, all of them were batting a thousand that whole time. I was really impressed. Yeah, that was wild. I, like I said, I had seen a kind of like fan film of that episode mm -hmm. and I had forgotten all of it. I was like, I, this is wild. Yeah, it wasn't as gruesome as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Um, But. It, Still it was, horrifying. And it was also just more effective. Yeah. Because, um. Because they waited so long for the twist. I, when you're reading the comic, you can read the comic in about 10 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it, 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 you can't, you obviously you can't go much slower and devour the art, but you can kind of get through it pretty quickly. Because it's this like slow experience, when they choose to ratchet up, the tension is so important. And I feel like they did, they just did such a good job of choosing how to pace out, ratcheting up the tension. Yeah. Uh, until we hit like... We, we finally have the moment where they start to fornicate. And then we have the moment where they start to, like, mutilate themselves. Yeah. Um, it, it was really, really just really well done. I thought, yeah. I, as an adaptation of the comic, I thought, um, I was so impressed. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, well done. It, yeah. Horrifying and, and like, brilliant and, um, yeah, just, just, like, well shot. Like I said, it wasn't, like, a big CGI thing, but it was still so, so... Powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Can't wait for the next one. I know it's gonna be exciting. We're gonna have to wait till tomorrow because it is too hot to film another episode in here today. Yeah. But I'm I'm loving the show. I like this is just this is one of my favorite adaptations of anything I've lo loved as much as I you know I, I I haven't read all of Sandman in a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know when I was a college boy reading the book, I was like, this is so freaking cool. Yeah. And you know I've. I was nervous coming into this adaptation, and I, I'm glad I didn't need to be, because this yes. is just so good. They crushed it. It so is far. so good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy right now, even though, like, I that was, like, a tense, anxious, and awful experience in some yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah. In a lot of ways, it was an awful experience, but, like, it's great. <laughs> I, love, I love when I'm kept on the edge of my seat very effectively, and yes. that I was literally, like, holding my arms in to keep myself smaller because I was uncomfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a damn good episode of television. Yeah, it was. Everyone David Thewlis, man. Great I casting. cannot believe how just incredible every every single actor is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The show. Those Brits. They know what they're doing. They do know what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, if you like this episode, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you don't, then hit the dislike button. Leave mean comments down below. The algorithm god. Oh, Starving. She's hungry. Starving. She's hungry. It's played by Gwendolyn Christie, and she mm -hmm. looks great. 
but she's hungry. There is no crafty on set today. Uh, you can follow us around the internet. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. And as always, y'all, do something nerdy tonight. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, episode six. Episode six.